I've been helping people with money for more than 20 years, but no one stumped me more than the princess. I don't want to have to worry about money. I just want to do whatever I want, whenever I want. I'm here to help this princess take control of her money and her life. Over the next four weeks, she'll live on a strict cash diet and complete weekly challenges. She is completely into her looks. If this princess has what it takes, I'll transform her from spender to saver, and I'll give her up to $5,000 to help her pay down her debt. She goes to school thinking she's going to be a CEO as soon as she graduates. No changes, no money. Oh, 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 she's a princess. She's a princess. Meet Princess Caitlin. My name's Caitlin, I'm 23 years old, and I'm account coordinator at an advertising agency. There's lots of reasons I'm a princess. Kate, I really like this. When I see something I like, I don't care about the price, I just buy it. If the credit card goes through, then it's good. <laughs> she is completely into her looks. I'll get my hair done, and I usually get my eyebrows waxed. It's all just fake, it's a facade, it's all borrowed. Caitlin recently graduated from university, but she flunked out of Finances 101. I used my student loans and line of credit, not exactly for what I should have used it for. Florida, Trinidad, Dominican, Spain, France. She's been to the Eiffel Tower before the CN Tower. Like, how is that possible? And Caitlin's student loan wasn't only used for broadening her cultural horizons. I spent some of my uh, student loan money to get a nose job. It was $5,000. She's out Friday and Saturday night most weekends. Depending on the night, you could spend like $60 on drinks. <laughs> You've got this person who's living in a different world. I thought that I would start making maybe around sixty to 70000 and then the reality hit me that it would only be about thirty, thirty-five thousand. 35000 Caitlin's cosmopolitan lifestyle costs more than she makes, so she calls on her family to pick up the tab. She'll phone and ask for money and I'll transfer from my bank account into her bank account. I think Caitlin's totally sponging off her parents. We come from a blue-collar family, so everyone's had to work hard for what they've got. Don't you have uh, money for food? Uh, no. She's been spoiled her whole life. She needs a rude awakening. If we can't afford to live that way, how can she afford to live that way? Now they've had enough, and have called me in to help. Hi. Hi, Gail Foss Oxley. Caitlin, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Come with me. So here we are. Yes. Why are we here? I'm in a little trouble. A little trouble? How did you get that kind of student loan money? Um, my parents co-signed for me. Okay. But you think bankruptcy is a way out? Well, what would happen if you went bankrupt? My debt would be gone. <laughs> Didn't you just say your parents co-signed for you? Oh, yeah. So your debt would become their debt. Right. We're going to hear from some of the people in your life, your mom. We'd like to do trips and renovate and... It's just not there because she's spending. <laughs> There's a lot I would like to do and that 700 a month would come in quite handy. How did you convince them to pay for you to move into an apartment in the city because you didn't want to spend the time commuting? They're not that hard to convince. <laughs> Let's see what your brother says next, okay? She feels entitled to that lifestyle. She's got a little bit of independence, but, you know, does she really? They're still paying for a lot of stuff, my parents, I mean. <laughs> okay, let's listen to Daddy. Caitlin used to give her brother a hard time. Kevin, you're a loser, you're still at home, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And now he saved his money, bought his first house at her age. I guess we're just seeing who the, the loser is of the two, right? What do you think when you hear your dad thinks you're a loser? <laughs> I don't know. Kind of makes sense, I guess. <laughs> you actually thought this was not going to be as big a problem as it has turned out to be because you thought you were going to be earning way more money. Like a lot of people who go to university, you didn't think to check what your career was going to pay before you decided to get it. No. We're going to look at the numbers so that you can see where the money has been going. Your parents are going to be here. Okay, so I wanted you all here to see the numbers because you have a big part to play in not facilitating propping her up anymore. 
This is your debt. How does a girl at 23 years old end up with $56,000 in debt? To see that number, that was, just blew me away. Oh, that's just phenomenal. I cannot believe someone her age has racked up that much debt. That's like two years of your income. Yeah, I know. Assuming you have no rent or buy no food. Yeah. You're in a really sticky situation. Absolutely. The thing is, the just over $600 that you're putting towards your debt right now is not enough to get your debt paid off. You're spending about 44% of your income on your needs and another 37% on your wants. So you have a lot of wants. This is one month of your spending. Oh my God. You spent $110 on entertainment. You spent $173 on beauty. $96 on groceries, but $135 in restaurants. But in all of this as well, there is about $240 in cash. We don't know where cash goes. It adds up to almost $1,300. So you've been earning about $2,300 a month, which works out to about $32,000 a year. You would actually have to make $63,000 a year to live the life you are currently living. And if you were also going to get your debt paid off, you'd have to be making $83,000 a year. Like, there's no way I'm going to be making $80,000. If you were paying your own way and not living on your parents' shoulders, you'd be going into debt to the tune of about $1,800 a month or $22,000 a year. Is that what you want? No. So I need a commitment from you right now that you will not give her money, cook her food, or in any way make her life easier because she has to learn to live the hard life right now. Do you promise? I promise. I promise, yeah. This is about taking control of your money and your life. Over the next four weeks, I'm going to give you a series of challenges to do. You do the challenges to my satisfaction. I'll give you up to $5,000 to help you pay down your debt. If you don't do the challenges, you won't get the money. If you have a bad attitude, you won't get the money. Over the next few weeks, we're going to get you to figure out the impact your debt is going to have on your life. We're going to get you living a real life without any handouts from people around you. And we're going to teach you that you can have a good life without spending a ton of money. So the next thing you're going to do is go get me your plastic because you're going on a cash diet. Scoop. Coming up. Oh my God. The debt is like half of my monthly income. Oh, 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 she's a princess. Oh, 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 she's a princess. Princess Caitlin went to university to help her land a dream job in advertising. While she was there, she used her student loans to travel the world and pay for some personal upgrades along the way. I spent student loan money to get a nose job. Caitlin's entry-level salary can't keep up with the cost of her big city lifestyle. $2,489.39. And her debts from the past are not going away. With her family at their wit's end, they have decided to cut Caitlin off once and for all. It's time for Caitlin to stand on her own two feet. Caitlin needs to be cut off. I've got four weeks to help this princess stand on her own two feet. If she completes all my challenges, I'll give her up to $5,000 to help her pay down her debt. Give me the plastic. It's gone. I'm going to learn to live on cash. The credit cards are pretty much max, so it's no good for me anyways. So I have for you two things. A transit pass, okay. and I have 50 bucks. That's all you get for the whole week. Sometimes. <laughs> your first challenge is your get real challenge. You are in deep doo-doo. There's no two ways around it. You don't make a lot of income. You have some fair expenses, and you have a lot of debt. So this week's challenge is all about getting real about what you have to spend and what you need to spend money on, okay? Kevin's going to help you. You're going to sit down and you're going to make a debt repayment plan. You have to have a plan that sees you out of debt in three years or less. I think she's going to have to listen to me because, uh, you know, she's not going to pass the challenge if she doesn't listen to me. So, revenge. If in the end, and I'm deadly serious about this, you cannot show me that you can sustain yourself and get your debt paid off, you're going to have to move home. I will sustain myself. 110%. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will see you next week. Thank you. Time to make the budget. So net income, every paycheck, what do you earn? I don't know. <laughs> you need to know that. <laughs> My brother probably just thinks I'm ridiculous. Completely ridiculous. 
The first amount I owe, 24,999. The next one is 23,000. And then we have to do credit cards, and then mom and dad. Divide that by 36. Equals, drum roll. What is it? <laughs> $1,633. Oh my God. We're over budget. The debt is like half of my monthly income. Okay, so if I don't eat or ever go to the <laughs> gym and I sleep on the streets, I'm good. The numbers, they don't lie. She's just got herself into a mess. I have to work a second job, I guess. And while Caitlin may have come to the realization that she needs to make more money to help pay down her debt, she also needs to curb her weekly spending. Lucky for her, I've helped her out by taking away her credit and debit cards. Now she's living on cash, and that means no more expensive nights out on the town. Well, what to make? There is nothing in here. How is it living on $50? Sucks. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> Do I know what I did this weekend? Nothing. You didn't go out? No. I went to the grocery store. That's half my budget gone. That is what I have left. Wow, that's it. Till Tuesday. Everyone should go on $50 a week so they understand exactly how hard it is. What did Kevin think when you were working through the budget? It was really shocking to see. Yeah. So I added up all your beauty costs on a budget that doesn't balance. Bath. <laughs> You're managing to spend 7% of your annual income on beauty. The concern that I have is that you still think you're entitled to stuff you can't afford to pay for. You've done the math part. What I don't think you've done is come to terms with the reality of your circumstances. I thought I was accepting the reality, but apparently it's a harsher reality. This is your give back challenge. One of the big mistakes you did was you took a lot of student loan and you used it on things other than education. You're in advertising. Mm. So I want you to create print advertising that shows people the era of taking on too much student debt. I'm actually excited for this challenge. If I can stop someone from going down the same path, then that would be great. Coming up, they're judging me on something, and I hate being judged. Oh, 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 she's a princess. Oh, 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 she's a princess. Princess Caitlin thought she'd be living the high life on a high salary when she finished university. I think that you should live every day to its fullest. So I got a tattoo of Carpe Diem, seize the day. But when it was time to start paying back her student loans, she quickly realized that she had dug herself a huge hole. Now she's living on cash, and the adjustment hasn't been easy. Caitlin's committed to living in the city instead of moving home to save money, even if it means she has to take on a second job. So I think I could work at a club downtown because I've been serving for like six years. And then that way maybe I'll see my friends at the bar, just on the other side of the bar. <laughs> Looks like the light bulb may have finally come on for Caitlin. Let's see if she can share her knowledge. Caitlin's gotten into debt because she's so focused on appearances. In the Give Back Challenge, I want her to teach others that living beyond your means isn't worth it. I put Caitlin in front of a group of college-age women and asked them to estimate her income and her debts. When I first walked in, I was kind of excited to see who I'd be presenting to and kind of get a feel for them. You could kind of tell that they're judging me on something and I hate being judged. Felt a little, uh, I guess, uneasy. I said your income was 45,000 and that your debt was 35,000. I said your income was 60,000 and your debt was 25. 40,000 and your debt was 20,000. So I graduated with a business degree, and my current income is about $35,000, and my debt is $56,000. <laughs> yes. Just shocking. I really thought she made way more than what she said she made. For me to be debt-free in three years, I need to use 76% of my income towards debt repayment. Couldn't ever imagine being in that position, and I hope I never am. So now what I'm going to do is go over the brochure a bit. So, say you have a student loan and you spend 60 bucks a weekend and you go to the bar. When you graduate, you automatically owe a grant in interest from borrowing that money. Another common thing, spring break, a lot of people like to go away, about $1,200. You go once a year for four years. So that's $1,000 in interest, so trips that should have cost about $4,800 are now costing you about $5,800. 
So someone that borrowed $50,000 over the life of the loan, you're gonna be paying $30,000 in interest. Go online and see what your potential entry level position income could be. Research it because it's going to come in handy to kind of figure out how much debt you can actually take on. A lot of students think they're gonna make 60,000 to 80,000, maybe even six figures. And it's just a hard hit reality that I'm not making six figures when I'm done university and I have this much to pay back. Don't ever get yourself into the situation that I did. Oh man, I can't stress it enough. You can tell she really cared about us not making the same mistakes. So you had a busy week this week and you didn't earn a lot of money because you were doing a trial run as a bartender. Did anything good come of it? Um, yes, they called me back, so I'm working this weekend. Excellent, you're really working hard at this. Yes. Why? It's starting to like hit me, the reality, and you know, I've been kind of toughing it out for three weeks and I've survived, obviously, right. so I know I can get through it. I've seen how much the bank is making off me too, which is a huge motivation. <laughs> and that speaks to the brochures that you did. Yes. You did a really good job on this. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> so yours is a cautionary tale for them. Yes. Do you think you've learned your lesson now? Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? We're gonna find out whether you have or not. Okay. Because your next challenge is an attitude adjustment challenge. And in this challenge, I'm looking to see whether you've internalized the lessons that I have been trying to teach you. I was like, this is a thick envelope. Gail must have a lot to say. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, Caitlin, this is your final challenge. Here's a thousand dollars. I know it's been a hard process for you, so do with it as you wish, Gail. Holy sh a lot of money. It was really exciting because I've never held that much cash of my own money. This could pay for a trip to Dominican. I've just been avoiding malls, so I don't have the temptation, but to actually have the temptation in front of me, there's a lot I could do. <laughs> After sleeping on it, Caitlin decided to hit the streets to see what she could get for her money. She has an envelope of cash oh, that she needs to spend. No, so her, she need doesn't to spend it. You can get your eyebrows done. No, I can't. It's not in my budget. <laughs> so do you want me to look in the schedule to see if there was time to get your eyebrows done? For yeah, free? please do that for her. For free? Okay, okay but you can spend do. like $20 on your eyebrows. It's like half my weekly budget. That's way too much. But you can put the rest of that towards your savings. Do with it you want as to do. you wish. I wish to not spend it on my eyebrows. <laughs> so far, so good. Oh, sushi. I'll just make rice when I go home. Okay, let's go. She resisted temptation, but finally even this reformed princess wavered. <gasps> See this. It looks so nice on you. I just love it. It's like a big square. It's only $79. Caitlin, you have an envelope of cash just burning a hole. It's one thing to see something, but when you have it on and you're like, oh, it's really nice, I like it. It's a little harder. I really, really do want these sweaters, but... I decided to pay off my credit card. I paid off one completely, and I put the rest on my other credit card. Because you have to pay the high interest ones first. <laughs> Coming up. Okay, so how do you think you did this month on a scale of one to 10? Oh, 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 she's a princess. Oh, 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 she's a princess. Four weeks ago, 23-year-old Caitlin was a princess who used her student loans to travel the world and thought her education entitled her to fast track to the top of the corporate ladder. After being in the city, I would never want to move back to a small town. I challenged her to live on a cash diet for four weeks and to figure out a way to get out of the hole she had dug herself. She used her education in advertising to teach others to avoid her mistakes. Don't ever get yourself into the situation that I did. And even when she was tempted with $1,000 in cash, she stuck with her new regime. Oh, what are you gonna do with the thousand bucks? I think I will just use it to pay back debt. But before I make my final decision, I want to meet with her family one last time. Did she try to hit you up for money? No. No, no oh, she's been a no, good girl, no, eh? No, no. She's she knows not good. to come to me. <laughs> I know. So let's bring Caitlin in and see how she thinks she did, okay? Okay. Come on in, Caitlin. 
I've gone through a huge transformation. This is so much more than I thought. Hi. Hello. <laughs> you were pretty stressed over the last few weeks. Yes. <laughs> you a little bit afraid of me? Yes, a little. <laughs> well, kind of. At first I did everything because I was scared of you and then I did it because I wanted to. <laughs> That's good. That's a good transfer. <laughs> and then of course was the ultimate test last week yes. when I gave you an envelope full of cash and said, there you go. And you did the right thing. I went to the bank and paid off my credit card. And how did you feel? Amazing. I was so excited. I wanted to hug the teller. <laughs> Overall, what would you say is the biggest lesson you've learned this month? I would say two things. Okay. Uh, prioritizing, just where I want to put my money. Right. And the value of a dollar. Okay, so how do you think you did this month on a scale of one to 10? I feel like I tried so hard. <laughs> yeah. I think you tried really hard too. Yeah. So you know that $1,000 that I gave you? Yes. To pay off your debt, you can keep that. And here's five more. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> You totally deserve it. When you walked away from the shopping, when you showed me just how serious you were about this, I want to encourage you in any way that I can to make sure you stay on track. He's going to cry. <laughs> I'm the emotional one. <laughs> Your dad's going to cry. <laughs> I told Gail, thank you for being that third parent, that voice, <laughs> that we need it, and it, it worked. Don't give me a hug. We all needed Gail to get her right in line. I feel like I'm on a huge different path. I took like a complete U-turn. I feel like everyone else around me is a princess. She loves to go shop. She's all out of control. She can't stop. Designer clothes, jewels, hair. She's throwing money everywhere. My head is spinning. Oh, 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 oh. She's a princess. She's a princess. Modern day princess.